Okay, let's have a look at question one. We've got x plus nine equals negative 16. And um, again, the, the trick with equations is to, if you just have a look at that equal sign there, and imagine that equal sign is, um, is the center of a scales balance, okay? So if you have a, a scales, right? and both sides are equal okay but the goal is that we want to get x all by itself okay so um, to get x by itself we have to get rid of the 9 here now how would you get rid of that 9 what would you do you subtract right subtract 9 but if you subtract 9 from this side of the scales balance the scales are going to tip now you want to keep the scales always balanced you want to keep both both sides of the weighing scale is the same, right? So if you subtract nine from that side, how do you make sure the scales stay balanced and that they don't they don't tip? Because if they tip, you know, if they tip, they're going to look like this, aren't they? That would be lighter, and this this side would be heavier, right? Your scales are going to tip like that, right? But you don't want that. You want to keep them level. So to keep them level, you also got to subtract nine from the other side, right? So subtract. So whatever you do to one side, you got to do to the other. As long as you do that, you you probably won't make a mistake. So if you subtract 9 from 1, subtract 9 from yours, so we get x equals, now negative 16 minus 9. I'm in debt by $16. If I subtract 9, so if my credit card is down by $16 and then I spend another 9, how, how far am I in debt now? I'm in debt by 25. So x equals negative 25. 